SCP-662, aka Butler's Handbell. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-662 should be kept in its red, red velvet lined, lined case stored in, in high value storage locker 23C. C located at redacted. When, when not being utilized for testing or, for, or other appropriate tech activities, the item itself is safe to handle. No, and possesses no known thre threats of any kind. Though the effects generated could be, and considered, highly valuable, or unbearably powerful, depending upon, upon how the SCP is used. Description. SCP-662 is a small, small super handbell, bell, four centimeters tall and two centimeters in circumference. The bell is missing its ringer within, within, this, within the inside of the, of the bell. An inscription has been etched, etched into the, the silver, reading, "Forever mine, SJW." The bell is susceptible to damage. However, given its say, it's safe in nature. Destruction has been deemed unnecessary, right? as it may, it is made of a pure, very pure silver. It requires regular pol polishing to remain it, remain without, without tarnish. When the bell is shaking, shaken, as if, if to ring it, it, a soft chime chime can be heard, heard. Although this does not come from, from the bell. A short, well dressed can cut. Caucasian Shin Butlers of Supper Cream British Heritage calling himself Miss Deeds. Deeds who will appear, appear from the nearest area, yet with, not within, within the line of sight. Usually come, come from, from around the corner. Mr. Deeds will dress the ringer of the bell held by their appropriate title and last name, name and ask as what it is is a desire. His knowledge of the individual's last name, names and titles those is a mystery, as he himself so will put forth. Please see interview log 662-L1 for further, further details. The most reasonable request was given to to Mr. Deeds who, who resulted in satisfaction. However, there are limits to what, what he can do. He is unable to produce his very, very complex items such as for sports cards, luxury homes, or personal jets. If he is allowed to leave, leave the line of sight and return, he is able, he is able to produce smaller, less complex items such as a ham sandwich, a glass of iced tea, or even more luxurious items like caviar or, or a brick of gold. Gold. A list of notable items the butler has thus far been able to provide to the who's ring the bell may be found found in addendum 662-A1. Mr. Deeds will also perform the you know, tasks such as washing vehicles, preparing food, and cleaning bathrooms. If a request is deemed unreasonable or impossible by the butler, he will kindly tell the ringer yourself and offer for an, un an alternative if, if one, one may be had. The butler is not immune, immune to ill actions taken again, against him while in sight. He has been killed or injured during multiple tests, tests and will remain either dead or injured until he is out of sight. Upon return, turn with the ring, ring of the bell. All previous injuries will have, have vanished, and will, and he will be, be groomed and well dressed in his univer, uniform, and ready for the, the next order. A more detailed explanation of John, as he can perform and in the limits to which he, he may put, put can be found from the in the aforementioned interview log, log 662. 2-L1. Test logs were linked to his ability to heal himself and and the those of the properties of, of the bell may be accessed by, by any level 2 or higher personnel. 
All attempts to, to catch Mr. Deeds disappearing ring have failed. As the equipment will either fail, he or he will find find a suit a suitable un, uh, unobserved spot. Addendum 662-A1 Item Items and tasks request requested and results. Items Nearly all conceivable kind kind of sa sandwich, human flesh has been requested. Then as lunch meat and politely denied. Herb. Just also of nearly any kind. As sandwich as with sandwich meat, human blood is, has been requested and denied. Pig blood, however, for was served promptly, still warm. Break of a break of ninety nine nine point point ninety eight percent and pure gold. Mr. Deeds produce produced a break of nine nine point fourteen. He sent sent pure gold and apologized for being unable to provide the requested purity. A break of of ninety nine point twenty four percent pure silver. A nuclear or bomb, politely denied. A hand grenade of modern and U.S. military grade, which performed as expected in testing. A blue nineteen sixty three Corvette convertible. Full. Politely denied. The board game Monopoly, which Mr. Deeds Eads won. won on the first playthrough. A fabric age egg, politely denied. SCP redacted, did politely deny. A bait with a fresh pricked throat, a bouquet of fresh sweet picked roses, red roses, a, ba a bouquet of la a wild temp turn busties these these politely denied turn busty is not an actual known type of flower tasks cleaning you know dr Murr's car perform for engineer in fact perfection washing dick dishes are come related from a day's worth of meals those from the cafeteria on on level redacted of redacted Perform to a much higher standard than usual. Trimming do of Dr. Mars' hair. Perform, but it turns out Ms. that Mr. D. Deeds is not, in fact, a good, very good barber. Washing of Dr. Mars' Mer's laundry. Perform, and the, the cloning you found to who fit better in, in Dr. Mars' Mer's estimation. Assassination of a of Osama of Ben Linden, politely denied. Mr. Deeds claimed him in Linden was too well, well guarded and entrenched, but but could not or would not uh, give further details. Assassination of a a D class individual door room over performed it with just precision, with a with a buck lamp knife to the throat. Note. Further tests with, with regards to Dr. Merce's per, personal effect, effects are to, to be forbidden unless approved by, by one O five level, level O five five overseer. You've been warned, Dr. Merce. Mer, o five redacted. Interview log six six two dash L one. An interview. View with Mr. Deeds. The entity he associated with needed with with SCP-662. Good afternoon. Good, a good afternoon, Doctor Mirth. How will I be be of service? Firstly, you may may I have your name? Certainly. You can call. You may call me Mr. Deeds. Is that your real name? It is not my birth name. No, sir. What would that be? And where would were you born? Unfortunately, I can't remember my whole name, sir. Nor I am positive of my birthplace, though I do believe uh, it to be located in in England. Do you, do you recall from when you were born, Mister Deeds? I am truly sorry, I to disappoint again, sir. But I do not recall all that either, though it must have been, been some time ago. For that, for I don't believe. Who that I was born in this era. 
Can you approximate it? It again, sir. I apologize for my lack of self knowledge. But I'm a bit of a shudder, as you know. Mr. Deeds nodded at the b at one smile. <laughs> what is the earliest mode of transportation that you can can recall seeing in person or utilizing seeing from the past? Horse and buggy, sir. Although bicycles were dressed up becoming a fad with the but they will see if I were, if I recall correctly. Quite took off, didn't they, sir? Mr. Deep smiling again. Hmm? You didn't need, need to call me sir any longer. I appreciate it, but it's becoming a bit grating. Very well. Why do you suppose oh, that you cannot uh, remember these things? I, I can't say. Mr. D shifted his weight in his chair and looked a good bit uncomfortable for a moment before resuming his po posture. Or is it that you may, may or will not say? That may be the case, yes. Perhaps I may not say, though again, begging your part. I do not recall why it is. Very well, moving on. Where? Where is that you, you go when, to when you fet, fetch items uh, for those that you serve? Well, you see, ah, Mr. Deed's face could would have been momentarily as if he were, was in great pain before he could resume, reassumed assume a more relaxed vision. I don't actually recall that, that night. Why do you wince when I ask these kinds of questions? I do not know. Never mind. I have a dad for now. We will get answers eventually. Now then, I have a request. Very well. What? How may I be of further assistance? I would like a glass of iced tea. And grab a glass, glass of it for yourself, if, if you like. What kind of iced tea would you prefer? Surprise me. Certainly. This needs to... Good and walk walk to the door of the interrogation room and try to try to handle find the lock. He turned to turned and smiled at Doctor Merck. What seems to be the problem? It must. I must leave your presence to do do as you request. Why is that? Visibly uncomfortable again. It is. It just as it is, Doctor Merck. Okay. Open dark. Open the door, Doc. Agent Grave Graves. It's a deed at the room. He proceeded down the hallway. Under visual surveillance via camera, uh, in Agent Graves, Graves he, he paused momentarily to end another door. He shook his head, shook his head, locked, looked up at the, the camera, and then, and then at, at Agent Graves. He then, then he ran down, down the hallway and, ran, and rounded the corner. Agent Graves he did not follow, as he he had been instructed to remain, remain on guard at the guard at the door, for the interrogation room. Still under the camera surveillance, Mr. Deeds quickly proceeded quickly lead down down the next hall, hall and continued he throughout the halls of the complex, presumably reaching for an exit or area not under the not under surveillance. Finally, he stopped. Out halfway, way down a corridor too deep. He, at this point, point all three cameras in the cor in corridor two too deep malfunctioned, including in two that were hidden. Exactly three minutes later, er, the cameras were reassumed normal functioning. The only we Mr. D is standing in the same position, but with a trade of tray holding two glasses of iced tea in in hand. He then, then quickly made, made his way to back, back to the interrogation room. Ah, you have returned. I was beginning to worry. My apologies for the delay. Finding your way out was troublesome, but not to worry. I brought the ice, the tea, just as you asked. I hope you enjoyed it. What kind, kind of tea is it? Southern style sweet tea, Mr. Deeds 
place of glass as in front of, of Dr. Mur Murph. He resumed his seat he at the other end, end of the table. Dr. Murph hesitantly sniffed the tea and smiled and took a sip. Quite good, quite good, Mr. Dietz. In fact, this is this is, is the perhaps the best tea I I say sweet tea I've uh, ever had. Delicious. Did you make it yourself? I do. Who dislike disappointing me? You, Dr. Myth. Right? I do not recall. I assumed that I, I did, but alas, my mind, mind is not what it used to be. You've been only gone, gone Dr. Myth. Ruth looked at at watch. About ten minutes. It's, it's a deeds. Are you telling me you remember he is so terrible that you cannot remember what what happened ten minutes ago, or the, or the time in between? I recall, hold looking for a way out, and I recall returning with the tea. But that is all. But how? But not how, or where were you acquired the tea? Unfortunately, no, Mister D. He was visibly uncomfortable again. Very well, I have an urn. Request as you wish. I would like a bar of gold. What percentage of pureness would you you like? Ninety nine point ninety eight percent of you, if you please. That may, that may be possible. Let me see what I can do. We'll we'll disable the cameras in the hall. Hall and Agent Graves will wait wait in the interrogation room with me. Me to make me trip. Up a little faster this time. Very much appreciated. Shall I? Yes. Mr. Deeds exited the, into the hallway where, despite I, uh, what Dr. Mirth claimed, the cameras were not uh, turned off. He paused for a moment, looked uh, up at the look at the closet camera, shook his head, and began traveling through the hall of the complex as before. In corridor 2B, he paused and, and once more, more all cameras hidden, hidden were visible but in the corridor were malfunctioned. Exactly 10 minutes and 30 seconds later, the cameras began to function again to show Mr. Dietz was more skin in the same in position with a bar of gold in one hand. He then turned Turn to the interrogation room. That took a bit, a bit longer than the last time. Any reason? Well, it seems that the that the cameras in the hallway remained uh, right on, so I had to find a suitable way, way out again. I apologize for the delay. Hey, also, I was not able to acquire the bar, bar of gold to the pureness that you requested, but I assure you that, that this bar, bar is 99.14% pure. Very impressive. We will be testing it. I'm sure you, you know. I did not know, know that you would. But it makes sense. I suppose. Will there be anything else, else Dr. Berth? Yes. For your next ta task, I would like for you to acquire me a blue 1963 com Corvette convertible. I'm so I am quite sorry, but that is not possible. Why not? I really want one. Again, I cannot say why, except that I just know oh, that one cannot be, be gone and be of my methods. And what are those methods? I do not recall. Very well. I would like, like a beverage egg. Egg, any, any will do. Ah, well, regretfully, that is impossible as well. And I suppose you cannot say why? That is correct. How about some some caviar? Any brand or type will do. That I can do. Mr. Deeds once more went to the hallway outside the inter interrogation room. This time, the cameras were, were turned off after visual con confirmation from Mr. Deeds. Deeds entry into the hall. One minute later, the camera was returned back on, but Mr. Deeds had already returned to the 
notification room room at this point. That was considerably faster, Mr. Deeds. It only, only took you, you 32 seconds. And, all, and the caviar is good. I am ble pleased to hear it. One more thing before we end this session, Mr. Deeds. As you wish, I request that you assassinate Osama bin Laden. I'm afraid that cannot be done, done at this time, Dr. Murph. Perhaps someone closer and less heavily guarded? Very well. Let's make it the gentleman in the next room remote. Indeed. Mr. Deeds once again can enter the hallway. After at the visual confirmation, the cameras were momentarily turned off. Now, when turned turn back on, on, they revealed the door or to be ne next into next to the interrogation room sh door down sh room down, down shutting. The, the cameras in that, that interrogation room show old Mr. D. He's entering the room with a large, large buck knife. I've hidden behind one, one arm. Mr. Deeds, each approached the way, hitting D class personnel. No, and de definitely slit with his throat oh, with one quick motion of the knife. Mr. Deeds, each watch, watched the, as the D class personnel that went through the motions of death, avoiding their attempts to grab him. Once the D class individual wa was visually presumed dead, the Mr. Deeds returned to the interrogation room from, from whence he came. The deed is done, and then, indeed, here's the new, here's the knife, knife I used as proof. What could you do? Who this thing, not but not the other? I cannot, I cannot say, except then to know, know that I simply knew. New one was impossible, while the other was not. So you don't know, know how you do know things like, like yeah, my last name, name or my type, or, or or whether or not a certain task is possible. That is correct. Very well. I believe we are done done here now. But I need to get to consult with my colleagues and on some points. Please wait here until I return. Certainly. Dr. Murth and Agent Graves leave the room. Dr. Murth returns two, two hours later. Surveillance shows that Mr. Deeds did not move, move during this interval. Mr. Deeds, my call, Deeds and I have some, have some disagreements huh, about you. That's most unfortunate. We feel that the, these disagreements can only be resolved by examining you more intensely. Certainly, Dr. Murth. To be specific, we will let you examine you, you internally. Certainly, doc, Dr. Murph. We like to do an, uh, an autopsy, autopsy. Ah, shall I kill myself for you? And since we will be examining my internal organs, do you have a uh, method for my death? Uh, yes, if that's possible. Certainly it is possible, Dr. Murph. I suggest having me, me cut my own throat, or so I am exoxygenated. The bug knife from when I, I killed Mr. Dacton. It is, is conveniently at hand. And, and although other methods are, are of course available, they would either take longer or damp measure my organ and such such they are no, are no longer accurately represented. Of, of my pre mortem state. I. er. Uh, I suppose that would be acceptable at this point. When Mr. Deeds took, took the bug knife and play, was he at the edge of the blade against his throat? Wait! Yes, Dr. Dr. Murph, before you do it, you will come back afterwards, correct? I'm sorry, Dr. Murph. I don't quite understand. After the pawn shop in incident, when you were killed, you came back to life afterwards when Sergeant Redacted rang the bell. If you say so, Dr. Murth, will you come back, back to life again? I have no idea, Dr. Murth. If I did it before, then presum 
they will again, unless something has changed. Have you, you any further question? And it's my fault if I make the incision. I do recommend you step back. I would hate, hate this for my blood to soil your clothing. Death row always can be untidy. No, I suppose not. Carry, carry on. Very well, doc. Very well, Doctor Merv. In the event that I don't come back right to life, it has been gen a genuine pleasure to serve you. Mister Deeds then sliced through, through his own throat, and bl led to death. A postmortem exam examination of the body revealed that it is to be the ordinary in every way. Though it is noted that, that Mr. Dietz was not suffering from any normal disease or physical condition. It was in fact a, in near perfect health, health at the time of death. The contents of his stomach consisted of southern style sweet tea, normal stomach acids, and no more. Mr. Dietz's Dietz spot, he was then left on the operating table for a while while the lights in the room and cameras were turned off. All personnel in the room left the room upon and upon the return, no trace of Mr. Deeds were be it blood, blood on the instruments or used use or uh, other physical traces such, such as organs removed, let alone the actual body remain. Further ringing ring of SCP-662 resulted in Mr. Deeds' appearance after three minutes. He showed no signs of injury and, as, and well, well as and was well dressed once more or in a real modern uniform commonly worn worn by butlers. As expected, he could, he could not explain ha, how he managed to get to survive. He, he was he was then ordered to give Dr. Murth a full body massage, which he performed or much much to Dr. Murth's satisfaction. Dr. Murth, Murth claimed it was the best damn and rub down I've ever, ever had. My back pain, pain is completely gone. Acquisition Report SCP-662 who was discovered in the, in the possession of a petty thief Thief and grave robber in Redacted Redacted USA. The thief was in this in the process of selling SCP-662 to a pawn shop up in the mentioned town, town when when the when the bell was accidentally rung rung by the pawn shop attendant. Mister Deeds he disappeared from from the storage area right behind. Behind the counter and promptly addressed, addressed the attendant, believing being that he was about to rob, to be robbed by two, two men. The attendant overreacted and managed to, to get a hold of a sh sawed-off shotgun gun from under the counter. Mister Deeds was was fatally wounded by, by the attendant and died, died on on scene. The thief escaped. A, but was apprehended by Foundation agents after a week-long search of the of the surrounding towns. Under questioning, the thief revealed that in the bell that he found the bell bell in his bo box in the gra grave of Redacted Redacted, located on the outskirts of a of the above above mentioned town. He was. He was then admitted for pre, for D class personnel well, assignment and subsequently perished during a during testing of SCP redacted. The bell did not not come under, under the purview of the foundation until the until after the crime I mean subsequent transport of S of Mr. Deed's spot the lead to to the local morgue. After the disappearance of the body from the morgue, the, an agent Jim was sent to investigate a, the possible outbreak of SCP redacted or other unknown necrotic 
reinvigorating cause. This is D3 appear here in the case file item storage. Right from the room room of room of the local go constant after the the bell was hand told by by Sergeant Redacted. He, who's, he was quickly reapprehended and Agent Redacted took him whom into custody the three hours after reappearance it's under the guise of, of an I of an FBI agent. When the handcuff of Mr. Deeds one once again he had disappeared, the in, the agent in, in, intuited that the bell bell itself may may have something to do with this string of it string of incidents. And after a quite and testing you know pro, proved his, his hunch. Brought the bell back to Redacted to, for, for further testing thing. Agent Redacted was was awarded with an official foundation pat on the back back plaque for, for his handling on, of the incident and in lack of self of serving interest was once he discovered what the bell bell and Mr. Deeds uh, are were capable of. 